When I think about a blockchain, what I think about is a system that has a database that is a single, append-only, publicly available, transparent, and cryptographically auditable. A database that has all of those features, this single, append-only, publicly available, transparent, and cryptographically auditable database. That's it. Now, the next piece of that is that this database needs to run in a distributed and decentralized environment. There's no authority over it, right? It's decentralized, and then it's distributed, let's say, across the globe. <clears throat> That's what a blockchain is. Now, you could store any sort of information you want in a blockchain. Uh, traditionally, we're going to be storing money. That's another, another subject we'll get to later. But it's easy for me to say all of these things. It's kind of much harder to explain. And so I found that it's easier to kind of introduce you to these ideas of append-only, publicly available, transparency, cryptographically auditable. If we try to solve a, a different problem, other than a blockchain problem for a second, a different problem that we actually as Go developers and as software developers in general deal with all the time, that's version control management. Version control of the software that we work with. I mean, it's a critical part of our job, isn't it? We want to make sure that we always have a reproducible build, something that's durable. In essence, that we're always using the same code we expect to use every single time. When you don't have that durability and reproducibility in the, in the applications you're building, it's going to lend to leaking security issues and bugs and all of these things. We need that. And honestly, for the longest time in Go, until we had the module system, we didn't really have a fully featured, sort of secure, durable, reproducible uh, way of managing our dependency. There were third-party tools out there that did things, but we didn't have it. So what I kind of want to do is jump back in time. Let's say that we're 10 years in the past, and we realize that we're Go developers, and we, we need a system in pay, a place, a solution, to make sure we have reproducible and durable builds of the software that we're, we're um, building, okay, with all those third-party dependencies that we need to use. Let's see if we can, can architect a solution to these same problems. And in the process of doing that, you're going to see how a lot of this blockchain technology can be used to solve other sorts of problems. So let's, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to define the problem space here um, and start to kind of figure out solutions to making sure that we can have a re reproducible and durable build.